It's the 2K Sports pregame show. NBA regular season opener for a couple of teams. Thank you all for tuning in. So happy you're here. I just, I mean, I'm ecstatic that you're here. And I'm, I'm, and I, too, and I'm really happy that Kenny and Shaq are here. I too. miss you too, Ernie. Thank yeah, you. Me too. And tonight, it'll be the Dallas Mavericks going up against the Phoenix Suns here at their home. For Phoenix, the waiting game is over. They've been building team chemistry, refining their strategy. They feel like they have a great game plan in place to nab a victory in game one. And tonight, we'll get to see it all unfold. Getting a little amped up. Opening night of the regular season now upon a Shaq. What were you looking forward to the most here on opening night? Two things. Let me get this out of the way. Hanging out with you guys. You know I love you guys. I miss you guys. It's been a great summer. And getting back to the greatest game in the world. Mm. Which of those, if you only had one, which of those would be? I would have to, say, I would have to, to. say the game would come second. Oh, oh man. man. You're the greatest. I love you That's guys. Great. You are the greatest. Yeah, I, appreciate that, I don't man. even care what you got to say about opening Well, I, I do. What are you looking forward to besides hanging out with us? I was just looking forward to hanging out with you guys yeah. and, you know, and, and, and seeing the offseason changes. But if I had to choose between the offseason changes and how they pan out and hanging out with you guys, you know. I would take the offseason changes to see how it pans out. I got your back. And I got your back. And I wish you weren't back. <laughs> Here's Kevin Harlan. Here in Phoenix, the crowd is going crazy. Well, we can finally say it. The NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happier. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, 
David Aldridge. This Arizona crowd ready to roar in this Western Conference matchup for the Phoenix Suns. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines. And we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Thanks very much. Well, unusual circumstances for AI. This opening night is just the second regular season game he's ever played. Now, AI said he's looking forward to being part of the process this time from the very beginning. And after what he had to deal with last year, that makes sense. Kevin? Thank you for that, David. You think back to when AI made his debut at the end of last season. Just a whirlwind of time for him, guys. You know, it must have felt like being dropped onto a moving treadmill, I mean, and being asked to keep pace. I mean, I'm sure AI will appreciate having a more typical start to his first full NBA season. Opening night of the regular season, blue sky for every team, Doris. Optimism is high. Players thinking about all the possibilities ahead. No doubt. It's a time of tremendous optimism for both the teams and the fans of these teams. And the culmination of the work you put into the offseason, who's improved their skill level? Sean Holmes, he's checked in for Kelly Oubre. On the court for the Mavericks. They've got AI. Doncic out there with Porzingis. Then there's Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Brunson in at the point. Ilya Sova hits the bucket. And just looking back at AI and how he started his NBA career, what a way to make an entrance into the league in a pressure-packed situation, Greg, like this. Yeah, and a lot of players would have been overwhelmed, but AI was instrumental in getting the win and helping the team secure a playoff berth. What an incredible moment it was for him in an NBA debut. Porzingis finds Ilyasova. Over Ayton. That's tipped. Tremendous at anticipating when shots are going up. Eight is outstanding at protecting the rim. Warren, good. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Runs in the pass to Doncic. Booker against Hardaway. Porzingis kicks to Ilias Hope. Over Aiton. Another miss by Ilias Sova. Suns leading by 10. Warren on the wing. Down low. And there's Aiton, and that's good on the assist by Warren. And that's now six points for DeAndre Aiton. For Dallas, they've gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. Brzingis feeling it out a bit. He feeds it to Ilya Sova. Lays it up off the glass. Well, this speaks to the feel that Kristaps Porzingis has for the game of basketball. If you're open, he'll find you. Johnson kicks to Aiton. And there's the bucket. Staying with it on the offensive glass. Getting it done. Aiton's got eight. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Brunson, no good. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Sun. A 12-point game. And this matchup with the Mavericks, it's the first game of the NBA's regular season. And they swept the season series against them last year. They really did have the upper hand. Good D by Hardaway. A smart defender. Booker can anticipate and uses good balanced movement to get in position. And so it's Phoenix enjoying a 12-point lead.
as they talk things over during the break. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. Chris Stapps Porzingis grew up in faraway Latvia, but thanks to his brother, developed a passion for the NBA. My older brother, he was a big fan of NBA always, and he always had pictures of Michael and then Kobe and Shaq, and then we both started watching a lot of NBA highlights. And then later on, 13, 14, uh, Kobe and Powell, you know, he used to watch those guys play a lot. And Greg, that's something different now. Phoenix making some changes. Aiton, he's checked in for Rashawn Holmes. T.J. Warren comes in for Josh Jackson, and it's Johnson in for Bridges. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. AI is checked in for Mejuri. Porzingis comes in for Dirk Nowitzki. Hardaway's checked in for Doncic. And Berea subbed in for Trey Burke. The Dallas Mavericks last season could not have been more disappointing, Doris. Well, you think about management for this organization, Kevin. They had tried to avoid a rebuild. But at some point, every franchise probably has to go through it. And one of the things you must have in a rebuild is patience. On the floor right now for the Mavericks, Chris Depp's Porzingis is out there with Hardaway. Then there's J.J. Barea. Then it's A.I. And it's Brunson in at the shooting guard position. Yep, it goes, and the Dallas leaders get down to two as they get the bucket from Johnson. Barea against Johnson. Here's Ilyasova. Phoenix grabs the miss. You know, he's working on his inside game, but clearly there's still a little more work to do. Warren, good. And a nice assist from Booker. Warren's got it all tied up now for Phoenix. Well, you like the effort of T.J. Warren capitalizing when he's shooting in the painted area. Berea kicks to Porzingis. Here's Brunson, defended by Booker. And it's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. Man, you love the effort. Just getting a hand in there and knocking it out. You love that they're making their presence felt on the defensive end. You can't afford to be careless with this team. 32 seconds left to play here in the half. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Dallas shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. And that one misses. For the Suns, uh, certainly a lot of chemistry questions from coaching changes to unhappy players wanting out. Doris, how, how do they turn it around? Well, you know this, Kevin. Organizations that win have great ownership and then great front office personnel. But the bottom line is it's about collecting great individual talent in the NBA because this is a player's league, Kevin. Passes it to Brunson. Inside and stolen by Eaton. Here's Booker. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. It's all tied in Phoenix. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You know, big group substitution here for Phoenix. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Aiton. Jackson comes in for Warren. Bridges, he's checked in for Kelly Oubre. And it's Crawford in for Tyler Johnson. We've got Bridges. Rashawn Holmes out there with Jackson. Then there's Devin Booker. And it's Crawford at the two-guard spot. That's who's out there for Phoenix. 156 left to play in the third. Here's Brunson, defended by Booker. Unable to get that one. The Suns go the other way with it. And got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Kevin, the league has unveiled a five-point plan to improve player-referee relations. Things became heated last season with a lot of star players ejected for arguing with officials. The emphasis on respect and clear standards of conduct on both sides can only help. Kevin? Very good point, David. Completely agree. Thanks. We now have rules, Doris, that protect shooters from defenders stepping underneath them. But 
What about when the defender leaves his feet and the offensive player steps underneath and tries to draw the foul? Well, I think one of the things that we have to look at is, okay, we certainly do not want the defender to have unnatural movements which place him underneath the feet of the shooter because that's where injuries can happen. On the other side of the equation, and this has become problematic to me, you see far too many shooters either jump unnaturally outside of what should be a, a straight up and down shooting motion or guys who kick their legs sideways in an attempt to draw contact and fall over. But Kev, this is where officiating is about feel, touch, and vision. Runs in the pass to Ilyasova, and he banks in the layup. Ilyasova's got four points this quarter. Well, in that individual matchup, the rim is totally unprotected. He's just got too much size on him. Here's Crawford. Seven points in the game. To the middle. Here's Holmes. And Holmes throws it down. And the road back into this game wasn't a short one, but they've managed to make it all the way back and tie this thing up. And you love the heart, the fire they've shown here. Let's see if they can keep up this level of tenacity. Dallas moving it around. And the foul called on Jamal Crawford. That's his first foul. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for the Suns. For three. Brunson, no good. Phoenix has gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight and nailed five of them. Jackson dishes to Booker. For the lead, good on the bucket. Booker's got 10 points here in the second half. But just tremendous concentration by Booker. Defense tries to bully him, but he stays completely locked and loaded. And the game still closely contested as we end the third quarter. Mavericks lead by one. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. On the floor for Dallas, they've got J.J. Barea. A.I. is out there with Doncic. And it's Kleba in at the four slot. And the wide open shot from Warren. Off the mark there with the three point shot. The Mavericks leading. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. TJ Warren picks one up. I think when you talk about the Dallas Mavericks, it's not hard to think about the ownership. Driven, intelligent, committed. And so no problem for Dallas as they get the win. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. See you next time. AI, we've got an interview request for you. Come with me. Oh, yeah? Okay. AI, Griff Bryant, thanks for talking with me. Great game tonight. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you, yeah. of course. So, uh, considering this was just your first game, I'd say you held your own. How did it feel to contribute right away? Oh, man, um, you know, it was great. You know, my teammates have been really amazing, just helpful, giving me advice on whatever the NBA is going to throw at me. 
And, uh, you know, it, it makes me uh, looking forward to contribute to whatever I can do, you know, even just a little bit. After college, you spent some time in China and then in the G League. The NBA must feel like a whole new world. Uh, you know, sort of. Like, we still playing basketball, and I'm still part of a team, you know, like I was in Shanghai and, and Fort Wayne. Um, my time in both those places taught me a lot about what it means to be a teammate, and I just look forward to using that knowledge to help us get some Ws. That's refreshing to hear from someone who just finished their first game of the season. Listen, thanks again, AI, and congrats on the strong debut. Thank you. Thanks, Griff. AI, you're good to go. All right, man.